Okay, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a KWA Ronin Tekken TK45 2.5 CQB AEG. Okay, this is going to be an unboxing right from here. Might as well start right on it. So this is the first time we're cutting it open, so... Get mags in there too, or just a gun? Uh, one mag. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Just the one that comes with it, or is it in the box? Just with the it? one that comes with it. Okay. So there we got the uh, nice box on there. Nice KWA boxes. It, I love this part here. Not a real firearm. That's interesting. Okay. Open her up. Okay, what do we got uh, right on the top? We've got, just starting here on the right, we actually have some rail sections to put on there. We have the gun itself, we have the extra mag, or the mag down here, and we have the paperwork underneath here with a nice, what is that, a hop-up adjustment? That nice hop-up adjust, hop up adjustment rod. I took it out of frame. Yeah. All right, might as well take it right out of the, the box. Just to go over again what we get in the box, of course you get your mag, uh, your extra key mod rails. This is key mod, right? Yes. Key mod. And there is your bag of stuff with your cleaning rod and also there is the gun. Now the one thing that on the cleaning rod I want to show, this might be, no this is not a cleaning rod, this is a hop up adjustment tool because it is a small Allen, probably like a 2.5 or a 3. We'll have to look in the, have to read the manual. Anyway, just uh, pick up the gun and we'll uh, go over some of the features that it has here. Okay, what you have is, we'll go from the back to the front. If you notice, it has a, a retractable stock. Goes out quite a ways. Okay, and this is also where the battery space is right here. Okay, we'll show that in a little bit. But I want to go over the controls. All the controls are ambidextrous with the fire selector on both sides, mag release from each side. And also, this button right here, which I want to show, is when you pull back to show your hop up, you can push that down and hold it, and it will hold open your fake bolt so that you can adjust the rotary hop up. It's a rotary hop up, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, then going farther on top. We show the two flip-up polymer sights. They are a little stiff, but they actually work pretty good. They're adjustable for windage and elevation. And we go all the way to the front. We have our key mod stuff uh, around the front grip. And, of course, your mandatory orange tip out here in Pennsylvania or the United States. Okay. So let's uh, take this, show them how we put the battery in. Yeah, first you have to remove the stock. We found that that actually would be the uh, best way to do that. Take the stock all the way off. It has a little cup on the outside with a little button that just clips off, and there's the battery. Hold on for a sec. When you look at this, this plate has this little piece that you just push down to release it from that. What we have found is right now I'm I've got a 1200 ma 11.1 uh, .1 battery. Okay, 1.2 amps. It's actually too long for to fit in the stock of the Ronin. If you notice, it goes right to the top, and there's not enough room to close the cap on there. Now, you could put all the wires down in there and sort of, like, get it to fit, but you'd never be able to put the top on it and close it. So it might need a special, smaller 7.4 LiPo battery. Just so we see a close-up on the bag, what you do, you have here is your warranty card. You have a thank you and a KWA sticker. And I was wrong about this being the hop-up adjustment tool because it is a rotary style hop-up. This is a tool to work on the gun. It fits almost every bolt, or it does fit every bolt on the gun. So you'll be able to take it apart and do maintenance on it. Okay, we're looking at the mag now. The mag is polymer, and what I really like about KWA mags is this follower goes all the way out of the mag, which will help you to use up all the BBs that are in the mag. So it should feed technically all 120 rounds out of here. Okay, what we're gonna do is an FPS uh, rating on the gun first, and then a rate of fire. First, we're gonna do FPS, shooting with 0.25 BBs. Go ahead. 
Okay, 312, 311, 312, 313, 314, 312, and 316. So averaging about 314. All right, so now switch up. We're going to do a rate of fire. Go ahead. Stop. Okay, we're at, oh, I'm off the screen here. I was wondering why I can't see it. 1363, which works out to be 22.7 rounds per second. So that's roughly 314 average with 0.25s, 22.7 rate of fire. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing a shooting test. Uh, what you're looking at right now is 125 feet. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and go for it, Ben. Can you see if you hit the girl? Yes. Okay. Okay, now we're going to shoot at the 65 foot target, which is this little blue uh, barrel lid on here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and go for it. As you can tell, it's bouncing some of them back. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to switch up now and we're going to shoot at 113 feet, which is that pine tree right there. Let me zoom out on that so you get an idea. Go ahead. Working fine. Now, okay, what we're going to do is do a full auto burst here. Let me zoom back out again. Go for it. Working good. Final conclusion after you saw the shooting test, we're out to 125 feet, no problem. Uh, shooting at 100 feet, 80 feet, 65 feet, everything is hitting fine. With two fives, shooting over 300, it's like made for CQB. It'll go anywhere under 350 with two O's and under 350 with two fives. Adjustable stock, all the ambidextrous controls. And what I like is right here, which I'm going to zoom in on so you guys can see that, is the trades are right on the gun look very nice you can see the kw the kwa right here serial number and all the other information right here but i it really looks nice a lot of detail on the gun and as you can see we did put the key mod rail sections on the front just so you can see it all right and it does have a spot right here which uh the owner of the gun is thinking about maybe putting a, a, a you know angled foregrip or just leaving it the way it is and using the front part of the magwell to uh, hold. So this has been a review of the new KWA Ronin Tekken uh, 45. I shut it already. And uh, I think it's an awesome gun. Going to be a great CQB. Now the only gotchas that I see is we didn't get a manual with the gun so we don't know exactly what everything does. Uh, on the site it says adjustable FPS uh, variable VPS I think it was called variable speed or whatever and that does say that it has a quick change spring well we didn't want to take the stock off yet or do any messing around with it but this variable FPS adjustment I don't know if they meant if that means quick change spring or do, is there something else that we're missing on the gun as more information comes out or even a manual comes out uh, for the gun it would be nice to know this. Um, maybe KWA will have something online, or I know the owner is going to contact Airsoft GI where he got the gun to see if they have some kind of manual. They might point you at a, a PDF manual online. At least it'll be something that you'll be able to tell how to mess around with the gun, take it apart, things like that. Another thing we were going to try, but I didn't want to try it today with a brand new gun, was pop out the pins and try to take the upper off. But I think we're just going to leave that go right now. It's a brand new gun. I don't want to go screwing around with stuff, taking it apart until we see the manual. And maybe it says there's a certain procedure you got to do to take the gun apart. This is just a quick look at the gun. It's an awesome gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, you guys have a good day. Wow.